Today we're visiting Giron here in Tuttlingham to run our RF100 speed PN mill on their new FZ16S machine. Our main goal is to set a machine record by achieving unprecedented metal removal rates. The nice thing is that we have met our development target with the new 16 series machine and today we can demonstrate this milestone. We have increased the drive power considerably, along with the machine dynamics, precision and metal removal rate. It's great when the cutting tool manufacturer has to develop a more advanced tool due to the increased machine capabilities. That's when you know you've done everything right. On the RF100 Speed P, we have chip breakers along the entire length of the cutting edge. This produces small chips, which can be easily evacuated. The 43-degree helix angle removes the material very efficiently, providing an extremely smooth cut and causing very little stress on the machine. This has been recorded and proven through the applicable vibration analysis integrated within the machine. We've succeeded in increasing the milling stability of the machine considerably while providing powerful machine dynamics. These improvements, in conjunction with the new end mills, offer unprecedented possibilities. You may be interested to know that this end mill and the Giron FZ16 machine were developed in parallel. We were in the development phase at the same time last summer and performed an initial test with our prototypes. We've come together again today, now that both products are ready for the market, and have demonstrated this performance. We've achieved a potential metal removal record of 1,000 cubic centimetres of steel per minute. That's more than 8 kilograms of steel per minute that we've machined. We achieved this by using our end mill under GTC conditions. With this strategy, the entire cutting length is used while applying a smaller width of cut. We're in the range between 5 to 15 percent width of cut. Incredibly high feed rates can be achieved through this process. In the application we ran today, the feed per tooth was 0.5 millimeters. With four teeth, this means we had a feed rate of 2 millimeters per revolution, which is twice the feed rate compared to the rotational speed. These metal removal rates are extremely interesting for companies who need to machine large amounts of steel. For example, components for the mold and dye industries in which high-strength steels are used, and in applications in the aerospace industry, where small or lightweight components are machined from large billets. The automotive industry should also be mentioned. This cutting geometry can be used efficiently here as well, and is very popular due to the longer cutting edge length. I have never seen anything like the metal removal rates we've achieved here today. With this ace up your sleeve, you can really win big.